Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season two, episode eleven of Wizards of Waverly Plays. I almost say Drake and Josh, but no, uh, that's coming after this uh, three episodes binge for Wizards of Waverly Plays here on Patreon. So we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make <laughs> we're gonna watch episode eleven, title "Make It Happen." And yes, we're here. We're back. We are ready. And we are excited. Hopefully. Well, I am. I hope you guys are as excited as, uh, you know, me watching this episode. Previous episode was the Baby Cupid episode. And that was a funny, funny one. Uh, and I cannot wait to watch this one and kind of wait to see what other craziness uh, is, is going to happen on, on the show. Uh, Harper still knows they haven't used the memory wipe spell on her. And I'm glad, actually, because she's trying very hard to be supportive of her wizard friend. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see what else is going to happen. And, you know, um, what, are, what, are, what other shenanigans the kids get themselves into. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka Reactions always post their first on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue supporting. And for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 2, Episode 11 of Wizards of Waverly Place. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. What was the okay. name of that song? Stop, you're hurting my ears. Oh, come on! That was kind of cute. Yeah, it's all cool. All right, everybody, listen up. For today's lesson, we have a special guest from the wizard world coming to talk to you guys. The future. Oh, you mean like two minutes from now when I'll be faking a stomach ache to be getting out of this lesson? Exactly. No, we're talking about you kids finding jobs one day. Oh. oh. Stomach ache, huh? Oh, look at that, came two minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stuffleby, welcome. Oh. Kids, I'd like you to meet your new wizard guidance counselor. What's up with your face, dude? <laughs> <laughs> My mother is one quarter gargoyle. As you all know, one of you is destined to win the family wizard competition. Two of you, on the other hand, will lose your powers forever. Like your father. <laughs> no offense. Are there any other questions? that don't involve my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't see this going well. Yeah. Because my plan B is to be a famous rock and roll drummer. A singer, singer. Drummer? You can't even play patty cake right. <laughs> so then I guess we're in a band. Band with me? <laughs> no. Well, Alex has decided her backup plan is to be a musician. Cool. I was just gonna work at the substation. Alex's idea is way better. I'll do that instead. <laughs> the substation. It's the only reason we had you kids. <laughs> oh, I would run a kilometer for you and Oh. We should form a band. What do you say? No, I <laughs> can't. Why not? Because I'm already in a band, and, and that wouldn't be right. With oh. who? <laughs> this drumming thing is gonna be so easy. <laughs> it's Alex. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mom, brought you the newspaper. Or, possibly, flowers. She said musician, not magician. Oh, it's so hard to listen with all of this money in my ears. Oh, but he's good. We do sort of a punk rock kind of thing. Oh. Oh, what about this? Yeah, definitely not. Why the maracas? <laughs> you didn't want to use this for the band, did you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> a one and a two and a three. You play on the board. Uh... <laughs> so I want to start with the You drum don't do a drum solo, it's not backwards, Dave. You... His plan B. That I did, I wanted to make money beating robots at chess. Practice! Is working at the substation that bad? Being in a band is a great plan, B. It's totally gonna make us money. Yeah. Right? Well, you sure. think you can make money? Let's prove it. 
You'll put on a concert at the substation, and if you can bring in an audience, then you can consider this band your plan B. Is it a deal? Sure, Dad. <laughs> hey, Alex. Hey, hey, concert at Waverly Substation. Don't miss it. You named the band Burn? <laughs> me? But I'm a better musician. I'm all... <laughs> and the crowd's all... <laughs> 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 Jesse, stop with this. Stop I'm, this. You know what? I'm kicking you out of the band. No, you can't. You can't kick me out of the band because I'm kicking you out of the band. Oh, this band is going to go great. Your dad's plan B wasn't to own the substation. It was to be a professional bull rider. What? What? Wow, so he never went after his dream. No, I think his dad talked him out of it. And then he oh. ended up owning a sandwich shop instead. That's lame, right? Like, the, the, the dad is doing the same thing to his kids. Generational trauma, man! He is bare feet. I think we should get the band back together. Go on. Because it's important for us to chase our dreams while we're still young. So if you play my kind of music, I'll I'll let you name the band. <laughs> I'll take that deal, just in case. Oh. Thanks for the support, Dad. Yeah, thanks. You're on. Or we're the Alabaster Carnation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One, two. Oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> yes, that was so good. She was not playing the drums, but yes. I think you got a real future as a girl drummer. Here's my card. Oh. Thank you. Who wants my sweat towel? I do. Take it. Uh, 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 Take your number down on my hand. Usually music is the best choice for a plan B, but not for you two. You can't miss. Can't miss. I, I should have had more faith in your abilities. I, You guys proved me wrong and you did it the right way without using any magic. Justin and Alex didn't use any magic, but the great Maxine, he did. <laughs> Max! Dude! What did you do? The audience was all an illusion. It was? Okay. <laughs> you guys sounded great. But because of you, Max, we won't know if music is a viable career or not. Look, I need to know that everything's going to be okay for my kids. You can't. You can never be sure of that. Sometimes dreams don't work out, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I mean, Very true. You can understand that. Right, Italian buckaroo? No! <laughs> true, Jerry? Italian buckaroo? Yes, it's true. I, I wanted to be a bull rider. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry if I was getting in the way of your dreams. Actually, Dad, it's kind of reassuring to know that you didn't have a practical backup plan and your life still turned out pretty good, huh? <laughs> I am really proud of you guys. Must feel good to chase your dreams. I'm gonna pull you in, the, in a bull. Well? Maybe you should find that out for yourself, Dad. Tell him, Buckaroo! Buckaroo! Hopefully, about the next one to seven seconds, you're gonna feel what it's like to live your dream. I'm living the dream! She's not living. What's your dream? That this is over soon so we can go home. Looks like we're done. <laughs> I love that she got in the middle of it <laughs> with her own guitar. <laughs> Guys, so that was the end of season two, episode eleven of Wizards of Waverly Place, and I think there's a valuable lesson here. Well, there is. No, I don't think there is. Uh, which is follow your dreams, especially when you're young. You know, and I say especially when you're young, but that doesn't mean that age should be a limitation for you either, you know, um, because you will rather spend the last of your days thinking, oh my God, I can't believe I did it. Uh, whether if it works out or not, you are going to be like, at least I tried. At least I did it. At least I 
you know, trying to fly close to the sun and got burned, you know, or I managed to, oh, there's a hole in the, in, uh, in the sun. Did you guys know that? Anyways, not the point, but it's better. Trust me, it's better to do that than to think what could have happened, you know? So always follow your dreams or will follow your guts, you know? Um, the practical thinking, you know, is not something that, uh, that should be a, I don't know. I, I mean, I understand parents because back when I was younger, right? Uh, I had like my dream was to be, uh, uh, there's a guy here in my country who was, who is kind of the pioneer on talking about movies, TV shows, especially the U.S. ones and uh, the Americans one. Well, well, Americans technically, but, you know, the U.S. ones and and video games and all of that. You know, he was very involved in that. And, you know, he traveled and all of that, going to conventions, things like that, to report to a, a local channel, a big channel here, here in my country. So... That was a dream for me. That was like, his life was a dream for me, you know? Uh, and uh, that's what I wanted to follow. So he studied for uh, journalism, right? So I went to school for journal journalism. Uh, so I followed my dreams. I got in. I was there for a couple, two semesters. Uh, sadly, uh, we didn't have enough money because it was a private college. Uh, and we did not have enough money to continue. What I could have done is try to go the uh, college, uh, a, a public school, pu pu public college, which is, is honestly, it's not a, a, as bad as you might think here. Well, it is kind of, it's not as good, but like, whatever. I could have done it, you know, or there are even um, institutes for that, that you don't have to go through the, college thing you know um it's different the, the, the is education system here is completely different from you guys so um but those things cost money and time which i did not have so my mom came up with a backup plan that i was not very happy with but i kind of had to agree on it uh half you know thinking I can't just be in my ha in my home. Although I was 16 at the time. So 16 about to turn 17. So I think that was the time for me to try to work it out, try to like find like some meaningless job but it's still keeping up with school. Uh but my mom thought, "Okay, you're going to do this and then you're going to, you know, because my my uh uh, a cousin I have, right? She is already old. she's older than me, so by that time she already had her degree and she had a a a, a little school in her home because you can make that here in, in 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 my country. And so she had that, and she I helped her, and I liked it. I like working with kids, and uh, uh, you know it did it wasn't complicated for me to manage. A class of like 20 25 kids it wasn't a big deal for me and I was able to get them working all of them and like it was really good uh, 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 with that and I was very young and so my mom convinced me that that's your calling it's practical you have to study only for a year and a half I think and that's it that's that's what you're gonna do and I did I ended up half you know working part-time and then going to school the other time, and I was able to to get a uh, uh, de degree, but it's not really a degree; it's like a technical thing because it's just only a year and a half, you know. So I did that, and uh, I d did got a job, and I I worked as a teacher, and I was really good at it, and yeah, you know, it was it worked. I worked well, and I had a, like there was a lot of jobs f for that. Uh, so, and I worked with little kids two years old, but as much as it was fun and I was good at it, that was not my dream. So when I found myself, you know, after having Josh, uh, I did came back to work with children, 
and then I got a, a, a chance to work in some other place that pay a little bit more than that and I did that and then you know therapies and everything with Josh led me back into well it started the world of YouTube and all of that and it, at first it was just you know a, a, a hobby you know and, uh, and then I started creating and doing making subtitles for shit and like starting doing reviews in Spanish but written re reviews for a show that I liked at the time and you know everything started to come back into what I liked which is talking about movies and TV shows and giving my opinion I might not be traveling yet but that doesn't mean that you know my life has ended and that I that's it for me you know and that's the, that's the thing you know always try to find your dreams and uh it's never too late trust me it's never too late uh and yeah well things right uh but yeah so I love this episode because of that because it gives you the opportunity of being like follow your dreams don't settle you know don't just have a backup plan well for the magic thing yes but dream big you know don't let anyone not even your parents tell you you can't do that or that's not practical or that's not what it's going to nah because not even your parents know what the future might hold for you you know so yeah I mean what your parents can tell you is be responsible you know don't hurt anyone and you know try to be happy and that should be enough you know and support your kids honestly uh anyways but this episode was great for that, for that meaningful part. But it was also very good because we got Selena singing. That was real. Oh, my God. I wish that this show was a little bit more like Victorious, you know, because they got to sing a lot and act and all of that. Uh, because it's Selena Gomez, you know, and I know she's good. I mean, I have her like a song from her. The one that is a reggaeton song. That I think she is with Cardi B. Taki Taki. That's that's the only time I have her, I have heard her sing. And this time. That's it. <laughs> but she's good. I know she's good. You know. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, other than that. You know. Um, I wish that she could sing more. You know what I mean? So. I don't know. But anyways. It was a great episode. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, watching it and I like actually that they team up you know Alex and Alex and and Justin team up sadly uh, Max did not understood that it was musicians instead of magicians because if not they could all be the the family group and it will be more of like an homage to who she's named after you know Selena Quintanilla right the other Selena uh, because I'm pretty sure that that's why she's named Selena. Anyways, so the thing is that it will have been like pretty cool having like Selena and her brothers playing. You know, could we have? It could have been pretty damn cool. But anyways, he understood magicians because he's he's adorable like that. <laughs> anyways, that was it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Thumbs up if you love Wizards of Waverly Place. Uh, subscribe, comment, hit notification bell on cut reaction is always posted for some Patreon. By the time you're watching this, I'm probably already done with season two. So go and check it out. Link in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible. And for now, I think that's about it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Wizards of Waverly Place. If you're on Patreon, in like half an hour, you will have another episode. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.